Hello and welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to make your own alternate image proxy cards for the Lord of the Rings trading card game. If you are like me, you try out different new decks, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars just to order those cards before you can actually build the deck, you might want to just proxy some of those cards. These days we don't have big tournaments where you need to have all the physical cards that you've purchased for thousands of dollars uh, throughout the years. Um, if you just want to play with friends, nobody cares about printouts. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I do it and it's really not a big deal. Most of the hard work has already been done by people far more clever than me and we are going to use their hard work to help us make our proxy cards look good. So at the moment I'm trying to build a shadow side centered around walk riders, but I just don't have four relentless wargs. That's this beauty from the Rise of Saruman set. Uh, if you can find one online, it usually goes for ridiculous prices. And uh, I'm not going to invest that much money just to toy around a little bit every now and then at home. So I'd like to use this opportunity to change the image because I was never quite happy with the one that was used there in the first place. You can, of course, just print out these cards. You will find all the original images at lotrtcgwiki.com but sometimes the quality is not great especially with the later sets there are sometimes just bad quality scans so we're trying to improve that a little bit here what we are using the most important tool here is a software called nandec that and the templates that we are going to um, to be using um, are avail available at the website of the Lord of the Rings TCG Players Council. That's lotrtcgpc.net. Just go to Virtual Cards and then you will find a link to the software and the templates. The templates are what makes the backbone of the card. So just to give you an idea, all of this, what you can see on the left side here, is already made for you. You don't have to have any Photoshop skills or whatever. The templates can already be selected, as in this case we need the orc culture that was introduced with shadows, I think. And then we just need to tell Nandek what stats and game text it needs to fill. For that we can edit a little file and if we just put that on top here you see that this is a simple text file in which you tell the software which attributes to use, which game text to use, and also which image to use. After we've typed that in, we can already have a look at the card with the filled in game text. So we're not creating dream cards here, we're just recreating the card with the original stats as they were produced by decipher whether they made sense or not and then we just need to change the image and to do that I have decided to go to the Hobbit films and I'm just go I'll just go into Photoshop real quick there how to find images well if you have a version of the films you can of course just take a screen grab with whatever program you use to watch it on your computer or you can also just use the google search with some clever use of different keywords you usually find some nice images it's a good idea to set the dimensions to big because then the quality will be appropriate in the documentation for the software, you will find exact pixel by pixel instructions on how to create your files. So just open Photoshop or whatever software you use, and then you can put in the images that you found. In this case, I found this very nice shot of a war rider uh, coming over a ridge there. I'm not too happy with the white grayish background, so what I did is I just looked for another shot from the same scene where you can see some trees and uh, some background and I just used that to put it behind the walk rider. It's still a very crude Photoshop job. I'm not very good with this, but it's good enough for me for my proxies. So. I will just save this as a PNG file. I will 
tell Nandek to use this file for my card. And then what comes out is hopefully something that looks like this. You can just save this, you can print it, you can of course uh, use multiples to print four on the same page and so on. And as far as printing is concerned, all I do is use my very old inkjet uh, painter, uh, printer, not painter, um, that I've had for more than 10 years now. And I use glossy photo paper of 160 grams, I think. And then I'll just print it out. And then it comes out nicely. You just take a pair of scissors, cut out your new work and then we need a sleeve and some old common card. We'll just stick our new work in front of it and that's good enough to play. You find all the links to the tools that I used in the descriptions to this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask me. That's it, until next time, bye bye.